Life today is hard enough. We call it stress, depression, burnout, compassion fatigue. And the smarter we get, the more we seem to have of it. That's just life, they say. You're emotionally tired because you have to be on all day and responsible for so many people. I do bring my worries home, um, my patients' worries, my family's worries. Um. People who get to the point of burnout begin to lose uh, the idealism of why they went into their chosen profession to begin with. It's rough on a team. I remember after that rescue, here it is, we've saved two people, but we're having the stress or the depression or whatever have you of, wow, we, we, if we would have worked faster, if we could have worked harder, would we have been able to get that third lady out? What happens during threat is you also get the increases in heart rate and ventricular contractility, so it doesn't distinguish uh, threat from challenge, but you get vasoconstriction and blood flow goes down. If the doctors don't have time, and the nurses don't have time, and the social workers don't have time, and the psychologists don't have time, how do we heal people when everybody's in a hurry? What we're running into is it's, it's a new way of looking at things. And it's a fundamental change in context from the pursuit of excellence to the pursuit of wholeness. And that is such a big shift for most people to get their heads around because most education, most occupations, most training is focused on the pursuit of excellence. Mindfulness allows you to be focused and to notice, but mindfulness also allows you to have a sort of an expanded awareness. This way of relating to ourselves, relating to our own experiences, starts to change things. And it, it becomes a way of embracing where we hurt. We come out to basketball and we get to behave like little kids and misbehave and, and be competitive and throw temper tantrums and play ball and basically it's a form of communion. One thing I do is on my days off you know, I really make sure I take care of myself. You know, I make sure I go either for a swim or a walk or, you know, those basic things you're supposed to do for yourself. I, I really try to keep doing them, mm -hmm. um, even sometimes if I don't feel like doing them. Uh, what this has allowed me to do is to do my prayers. And when I do that, I think um, that the results that Clark has seen on the screen show that um, there's a, uh, a balancing that's going on somehow. My quiet time with the horses, my you know riding out there in the middle of nowhere, that's, that's church for me. You think of self-care, you know, is yes it is about survival, but it's also about flourishing, and it's also about the quality of your work actually and the competency of your work.